Hi and welcome to a training where we're going to talk to you about Autodesk Desktop Connector. Uh, essentially Autodesk Desktop Connector is how you connect Autodesk Construction Cloud to uh, your computer so that way you can sync files locally, similar to like a cloud solution like OneDrive or something like that. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so this is the Desktop Connector help site on Autodesk.com. Um, if you have any questions about this or this training didn't cover everything that you needed, this is where you'll find more information about that. They have a couple helpful videos. We also have this SOP that I created. Uh, it's a simple walkthrough that shows you a little bit about how everything works. Um, this could be also a solution that you would be referencing if you ever needed help with Autodesk Desktop Connector. All right, so I'm gonna summarize the Desktop Connector app for you very quickly to make this video short and sweet. Um, to access the desktop connector, it really should open automatically every time you start your computer. Um, Autodesk desktop connector, if you just search that inside of the Windows tab over here. When you start it, nothing should actually happen uh, in front of you on the Windows side of things, but it will open up in the background over here. So in the bottom right corner, you'll see this D right here. Um, that's where that desktop connector runs. So it's just something that runs in the background, similar to how this OneDrive thing is running. Um, and it essentially establishes the link between the cloud environment and your local environment, which I have here on the left. So local environment on the left, cloud environment on the right. Um, to access the cloud environment on the right, it's just acc.autodesk.com forward slash projects if you wanted to go check that out. Um, otherwise, you can just come into this desktop connector app and this is where all of your files will be syncing. So if you needed to update what projects you're on, uh, we want to make sure that that list is maintained. So that little settings button in the upper right, we're just going to hit select projects. Now we only want to select the projects that we're actively working on and not the ones that uh, we've worked on in the past or plan on working on in the future. That's simply to save space in your computer. If I synced all of these files and um, folders onto my computer, I would have zero space left. So please be sure that you're maintaining this selection. Um, it is only going to be maintained by you. No one else really is responsible for that. So that is a responsibility for everybody who is using this desktop connector app. You'll notice that my selections are here as follows and that will correspond with whatever I have over here. So these are all of the ones that I currently have selected and these are all of the projects that I have available to me. Uh, so if I wanted to say add one more project to this I will just come in here hit that check button uh, hit save and then that will update automatically. You can see that that loaded in right there. Okay, now if I wanted to just uncheck that, it's the same thing, just uh, backwards. So we're gonna go settings, select projects. We're gonna go to the selections here, and then take that selection, hit uncheck, hit save. Now that thing will disappear. Now what can you actually do with this stuff? Let's say you download a file from the internet and you want to put it onto um, one of these project files, one of these project folders that we have here. Um, you could do that by simply just dragging and dropping rather than opening up this Windows Explorer or rather than opening up the web browser and dragging and dropping into there. You're essentially just accessing everything related to the Revit data or Autodesk data like AutoCAD, Revit, um, Navisworks, anything like that. You're going to be able to directly link from your Windows Explorer tab. So I'll just access this NCH project here, project files. Here's all of the NCH project files here. So if I search up NCH on this side, and I want to see all the project files inside of here load up and it'll look the exact same. That's kind of the point there, the exact same. It's just the link between the local and the cloud environment. So this is document management under project files here. Like I said, this is the same exact folder. So if I wanted to go into Neuroscience Center and I notice that they have this file here. So Neuroscience Center, that should not be in there. Uh, I want to cut this and move it into architecture, project specific RFAs, and then paste it into here. So it's already in the destination. I think that this is just an error. I'm gonna replace it. Uh, so that way it just moved in to this new location. And now you'll see whenever this finishes up syncing that this will update here. So it'll remove the file. We'll say yes. syncing pause that popped up automatically. That's kind of when that errors that would pop up that you need to focus on um, managing on your end of things. So now that that's synced, you'll see that it is there. Once I hit refresh on this one to update the data, that will no longer be there, so it is gone. 
So that's that link and how that works out. If I ever needed to open this file in Revit, um, I don't need to access this or download it to my local. I can access it directly from this Autodesk Docs tab here. So that's essentially how this thing works together. Um, you'll notice that some of these have a check mark and some of these have a cloud. Essentially what this means is this one's available on my local. I don't have to download anything. Um, this one is available in the cloud, which means that to access it, it will have to download. Not that big of a deal for an RFA file because the file sizes are pretty small, but for a larger RVT project file, um, you'll have to download the file, which is not a big deal. Um, but should you ever need to release that information from your computer, like if it's a large file, you can just right click this one and hit free up space. And it will stay there, of course. You don't delete it. Deleting it will remove it from this location here. The file will no longer be accessible. But freeing up space allows it to be pushing it um, to the online location and you're able to pull it down whenever you want. Now, if there's something that you always want on your computer, like you don't want it to be syncing back and forth, you don't want to lose the access because it's maybe a large file, uh, you would click on that file, right click, and it always keep on this device and now it will sync and that file will always be available on my computer. So it will never relinquish, um, it'll be available to me at all times. So that's essentially how this works. Um, let's say I wanted to uncheck that. The other option is that now it's uh, available but not always available. And then the third option, like I said, is free up space. Now it's back in the cloud. All right, that is essentially the Autodesk Desktop Connector in a nutshell. Should you ever need any more help, please reach out to me, of course. Um, and then there's also this Help Center. You can also check out on Autodesk's website. Um, I guess the last thing that I want to mention, uh, you'll notice that in these, this PC, you'll have this drive file. Uh, don't access that. You don't need that. It's kind of just like a metadata file that Autodesk Desktop Connector uses, but we don't use to access any of our information. So thank you for watching this tutorial video. I hope it helped and uh, have a great day.